Hi, I'm Hannah, and today we are going to be talking about Edward Hopper and his famous painting called Nighthawks. Many people acknowledge Hopper as one of the most important realist painters of the 20th century in America. Uh, Hopper didn't approach realism as a simple copy of what is there. Um, His works show this incredible ability to paint in the realist style in a way that's quite interpretive, actually. Uh, His work really often highlights this feeling of isolation, and we can see this in how he paints figures. Um, Many times Hopper would paint figures by themselves. Um, Something else that Hopper did that really gives you a sense of this individualistic approach to realism is his use of light and shadow. This may be one of the most significant, defining, consistent features of his work, and it really does add a lot of drama and emotion We definitely see these things in Hopper's Nighthawks. This piece is one of Hopper's most famous and recognizable paintings. Um, You've definitely probably seen this. Uh, It currently hangs in the Art Institute of Chicago. And when asked about Nighthawks, Hopper had stated that the piece depicted a diner in Greenwich Village, New York, and the painting shows that diner lit up in the middle of the night. The people sitting inside he referred to as Nighthawks, and this is where the title came from. Although Hopper doesn't just paint a single person in the restaurant, we can still definitely see this theme of isolation. Uh, He gives us this in the body language and the facial expressions of these characters. And that's really important that looking at this, we can connect to these people like characters, you know, like people we know and people we relate to through emotion. You know, we know and understand what it feels like to be sad and it makes us empathize with the man sitting alone. Especially in the context that this is in, you know, not only is he alone, but he's alone at a diner in the middle of the night. Uh, We as the viewer get a sense that there's a story there. And same goes for the other characters in this piece, too. There's some tension between the man and the woman sitting next to each other. Perhaps we see anguish. Perhaps they're just tired from a night out. But the point is, is that there's a real relationship there. And we can see that because Hopper was focused on creating a real emotional experience through his art. And once again, we get a solid sense of drama from the light. This deep bluish color he uses on the outside of the diner really puts uh, us in the late night streets of New York and it's really very atmospheric. Um, This deep color is right up against that yellow of the diner. And not only does it make the piece more emotional, but it really does ground the composition with this amazing angle that he has. Um, And it's another thing that Hopper is so known for is his angles. He creates these, you know, strong diagonals that really do a great job at focusing your eye right to those figures. Um, Nighthawks is just one example of how Hopper was able to use realism in an incredibly emotional and powerful way. Thank you so much for listening.